Okay, so, so now when looking at this, all right, if you're going to do this one, let's just follow the same pathway. What we're simply going to do is add 6 over here. x squared minus 3x equals 6. Right? That's the first step. That's the basic one. Now, the next step, so we did step one. Next step, number two, is to take negative 3 divided by 2 and square it. All right, now we have a little problem here because now we're dealing with the fraction, right? Well, our fraction is going to equal negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9, over 4. Do not give me a fraction. I don't want frac. or I'm sorry, do not give me a decimal. Leave it in fractional form. So now, what do we do? We take this and we add it to both sides, right? Huh? You the denominator The whole fraction. So now what we're going to have is x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4 equals 6. All right. Now remember, the reason why we did that is because what we did, hold on. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Plus 9 over 4. Now the reason why we did that, like in that other problem, is that we created a perfect square trinomial. Now, Austin, I could ask you, hey, you have to know your factoring. But that's kind of difficult to factor, right? Even how good you are at factoring. So what you can always do and write it in the form of x minus b or I'm sorry x plus b divided by two squared. That is the factored form of this. Yes. We're going to do that to combine the right side. We're going to get to that. So how do I factor x squared minus three x plus nine plus nine over four? I could use my traditional factoring method, or I can just use this formula. So we'll, let's look at it. What is b divided by two? Negative 3 over 2, right? Leave it as a fraction. It's negative 3 over 2. So therefore, I could say this is x minus 3 over 2 squared. Because it's x plus a negative number, so it's x minus 3 over 2 equals, oh crap, how do I do 6 plus 9 fourths? Well, you've got to gotta get them to be common denominators. Multiply by 4 over 4. So therefore, you have 24 over 4 plus 9 over 4. So you multiply both sides by 4 over 4? Hold on a second. Huh? You multiply both sides by 4 over 4? Just this fraction. Why? Because you gotta get the you got to get the fractions to be the same denominator. So you got to multiply your 6 over 1 to add it to 9 over 4. you got to multiply it by 4 over 4. Okay, so every time you have, you're in this situation and you add like that, like you're doing now, you use the denominator from the one on the right. For it. You got to have common denominators, so you got to keep them the same. Okay. You're making this so hard. So over here on the right side, I end up having um, 24 over 9, so therefore I'm going to have 33 over 4. All right. So now that I have the 33 over 4, now we solve like we've done before. So you take the square root, right, to undo the square roots on both sides. And then you do the square root on the right side. All right? Therefore, since you undid that, now I have x minus 3 halves equals the square root of 33 over the square root of 4. Right? The square root of 33 over 4, 4, or 4 is the same thing as the square root of 33 over the square root of 4. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, and we also got to make sure we include plus or minus. We know what the square root of 4 is, which is two, 2. So x minus 3 halves equals plus or minus the square root of 33 divided by 2. Add 3 halves. Final answer, x equals 3 plus the square root of 33 um, divided by 2. Okay, there you go. That was the stupidest thing.